In the last video, we learned how to manage a field state with nested objects. In this video, let's quickly take a look at managing a field state as an array. Let's say we need to collect the user's phone number. We want to collect their primary and their secondary phone number. But when storing that data, we don't really need any clear distinction. We just want them stored as an array of phone numbers under the same label. Let's see how to do that. First step, we need to add a property to our initial values object. Let's call it phone numbers. And the initial value is going to be an array with two empty strings. Step two, we add the JSX. Since we have been through this several times now, I'm going to copy paste the code to speed things up. Copy and paste it. Now almost everything remains the same as before, except of course the name attribute. You can see that for our primary phone number, name is going to be phone numbers of zero. And for our secondary phone number, name is going to be phone numbers of one. So we are accessing the different index position for the two phone numbers. And that is all the code we have to write. Let's head to the browser and test this out. Let's fill in the details. And click on submit. You can see the phone numbers property. It is an array with the two numbers specified. To quickly reiterate what we have done, we have created one property in the initial values object with an initial value of an array with two empty strings. We have then specified the name to two different fields by indexing that array at different positions. Phone numbers of zero will store the primary phone number and phone numbers of one will store the secondary phone number. Again, I want you to keep in mind that Formic supports nested objects and arrays when storing and submitting your form data. Nested objects would be required to group together some data and the array syntax would be required when dealing with a list of values such as phone numbers. Validation, of course, would be slightly different, but since you are in control of the form state and its structure, you shouldn't have a trouble writing custom validation rules to meet your requirements. All right, we are on a good track, but we are not quite done with all the features of Formic. Let's take a look at a few more important features in the upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.